Kitchen 100. Fuck. Every time I try to do it right before the video and uh, it doesn't listen. Anyway, welcome to another liquor unboxing, but also post Christmas, ignore the dates, all right? This comes out whenever. Oh, I thought it was lead o'clock. Um, post Christmas gift to myself is what this is. We'll get to this at the end because that's special. But I love people telling me how bad my taste in liquor is. And by taste in liquor, I mean I just buy the bottles that are pretty or brands that look like no one's buying them. And I got to know why. Why aren't you buying this? It looks so nice. It's got the story on in the back of, you know, my grandfather started this company back in Portugal, blah, 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 blah. So, um, pasta link anime stickers just because I love making her do that. Um, yeah, so this is in preparation, this amount of liquor is in preparation for a New Year's Eve party that I'm possibly throwing. It's it's in the air because people had sick and I don't know if I was next to them and results have to come back negative, etc. God, 2021 and 2020 are gonna be fucking 2022 all over again. So this is $500 in liquor, not including the three bottles that Jay from Jay Cooks handed me is like, here, I have too much liquor. People keep gifting me liquor. So I got this motherfucking massive uh, one and three quarter liter bullet bourbon, which I, I actually, I bought that once. It was good and I never bought it again because I want to try every bourbon. I want to try every, like, I don't understand people who go back to the same thing over and over again. You literally can't have drank every single type of liquor. Just buy something new. It also gave me this maker's mark. Still with the wax seal on top and apparently Kirkland Signature, AKA Costco tequila. The Anejo Dark Pura Guave um, Tequila. So those don't count towards the unboxing because my cousin just handed those to me. And that should be enough actual liquor for any sane party. But fuck it. So let's just go through. Um, I also bought my own tequila. And this is Don Abraham Organic Tequila, 100% Pure. And I think this is the one that uh, Chuck, aka Big Daddy, was like, that's good stuff. And I'm like... I liked the way the bottle was ripply and it felt like this felt like something you'd want to see. Like if you put this in the background of a movie starring Johnny Depp that takes place in like 1825 and it's Mexican Armada, Spanish tomato grandmas from Mars. This looks like it's a type of bottle that would have been hanging around back in the day. So there is my tequila. I try to just go to every section of Total Wine and More, which by the way, Total Wine and More, and just buy something. Um, Catch Fire Cinnamon Flavored Whiskey. This is specifically because I'm gonna be making uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch shots in mass and just have people just, just take them, take them. Um, I don't, I could buy Fireball, but I feel Fireball, everyone's tried Fireball. So like I bought this one, I bought Cinerator last time. I'm still using that. But I just wanna try a different cinnamon whiskey because maybe maybe they're all better than, than Fireball. So this is basically gonna be used in conjunction with this and the way you make a cinnamon toast crunch shot is one part this two parts this for a total of three parts i would recommend doing it in a glass and pouring out the shots because trying to do a, a correct ratio and the thing is bad we've all know what rum chata is i actually i didn't buy any more of the rum that i like but i'll, I'll probably end up buying more rum at some point but yeah rum chata and catch fire so that's specifically for cinnamon toast crunch shots Wow, what's this? Ah, this just looks like something that Britney Spears would have in like one of her videos. So that's Borasca Prosecco Rosé. There you go. What's a Rosé Prosecco? Spark extra dry sparkling rose wine, product of Italy. So I'm down for that. I mean, it's sparkling. It's literally got glitter on it. What's this one? So again, this is a rosé. This is Louis Bouliot, France. Is this France? Product of France, yes. So we got Italian, we got French. Uh, Borgenini, the Brut. Get some Brut out. Uh, what's this one? Oh, look at that bottle. That bottle screams classy, or that bottle screams your aunt, who's a little bit well off, but she drinks too much, and that's just sitting next to her bedside table with the grip. This is good for grip in the snow. Oh, I could use that on meat tenderizer once this is done. I could Fuck it, that's the, again, just because the bottle looks nice. And what are you? I don't even know what type of alcohol this is. Age 10 years, plum brandy. This is Marasca plum brandy. That's just a bottle, just called to me, all right? Things just call to me occasionally. 
Um, I bought some just regular wine. Here's a red wine blend. Kaleidoscope 2019 from California with a deep bung. So, I mean, I, I don't know anything. I don't like look anything up. Well, did I get another wine? Oh, fuck. The 19 Crimes Cali Red. Snoop Dogg's is on this one. 2020, it's not even, it's, 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 let's, let's remember 2020 for what it was, a pile of shit. I kind of like the fact the bottle looks completely black, but then you could see the ball, the bubble. And fucking Snoop Dogg's on this. All right, I'm gonna take this bottle and bring it out, place it in the woods back there forever. Um, I think this is the champagne. I actually asked for a recommendation for a sweet champagne. And the, the woman there was like, this is the most classic champagne. This is what champagne should taste like. Everything else is a flavored champagne. So I got this Sarine, Sarine Champagne Demisec, product de France. I like the bottle. I like the fucking shape of it. Kind of looks like a very extreme butt plug, but we won't find that out um, in 2022. Um, maybe 2026, we can find a participant for this thing. Um, nice bung. Champagne, you gotta have champagne. I hit 250,000 subscribers. In fact, I'm live streaming in a little bit because I hit 250,000 subscribers the morning after Christmas and I wanna stream and look at that vodka. That's just clean. Basically, I'm buying, I'm buying bottles and shit just to get the different variety of liquors. I wanna try things I've never tried and it's gotta have the marketing of like Lvov vodka distilled from beets product of poland so it's beet beet vodka from poland gotta represent that polish blood inside my body so what else we got um that is medically necessary for cpap water which my father gave me he's for like christmas he's like hey you have to use the the, the breathing machine and i had to have my cousin buy a gallon of distilled water because you can't put regular water in or you'll die like you'll breathe in regular water. You don't want to do that. So I didn't know they make little bottles, but they make little travel size bottles for CPAP machines. So there you go. Um, this I bought, I had to buy something Japanese just because. So this is a Mars whiskey. And I was thinking about you racing Mars because Mars loves whiskey and Mars loves Japanese whiskey. And this one's called fucking Mars. 40% alcohol by volume, which is not a lot. Is that a lot? Is it? Yeah, product of Japan. I try to really like get international with this shit. And I hope people will come here and actually try it. Krupnik, Krupnik, original Krupnik honey liqueur. I was in the liqueurs section and I usually do like ginger liqueur and, and um, like orange liqueurs. I don't think I'm gonna mix any of those anytime soon, but fuck me if this isn't honey liqueur. I love honey. This in like a tea, if it actually tastes like honey, and no, I'm not trying it here on camera, but if it actually tastes like honey, that might be the greatest thing ever purchased. Here is a Baron Herzog 2019 white Zinfandel, in case we need white wine for any reason. That, that seemed like a pretty safe bet. Some of them are safe bets, some of them are not safe bets. That's just how it works. And then this one was a more expensive bottle. This is like a $65 bottle, because I don't think I've ever owned cognac. And I know my mother in her in her liquor cabinet, which had a little little one. My like mother didn't drink ever. She still doesn't. But she had liquors from like when I was a baby. And there was cognac in there. And I used to smell so fucking good. So I decided to buy this Hein again, fucking sex bottle. Just just sex. That is that is beautiful. This is like the card scene from fucking uh, 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 American Psycho, where it's like, oh my god, oh my god. The raised silver on the rare with the with the slightly ghost VSOP original cognac fine champagne, a product of France. Yeah, that's that's a thing. That is a that is a nice that is a nice looking thing. Wooden wooden cap. Uh, what are our last ones? El Dorado aged five years. I don't know if that's good. I tried looking at the other bottles to see if that's like good. I had a goal of 500. I spent exactly $499 and like 35 cents. And like most of these bottles are like in the $30 range, 30 to 40. So I'm like, all right, if I get three, that's a hundred. And then I got that one that was 65. So like, all right, that counts as two bottles. And then I didn't count the rum chata and the cinnamon towards that budget because I wanted to make those as a separate thing. And it all worked out in the end. So this is cask aged uh, rum. I like rum. Laid down in oak barrels for at least five years. This rum is imbued with unsurpassed dimension and depth. Enjoyed best straight or on the rocks. We'll pick one. So why is the rum gone? And the last two bottles, let's do you. You're the coolest like fucking, that's like, 
I don't even know. This feels like a bottle you'd find in a video game. This is the Sexton Single Malt Irish Whiskey. Don't know if it's any good. I don't think you could see through this bottle. It might just be a black bottle, but again, Irish. Got Polish, got Irish, got Italian. I'm all here. We'll see if Irish whiskey tastes different or better than all the other whiskeys I've ever tried. And then finally, bought because there's a choo-choo train on the front of it, Tracks and Rails 88 proof 75 milliliter bourbon whiskey, batch number nine, bottle number 32, five grain. That good? It's not years, it's grain. So yeah, government warning, health problems, Fairfield, New Jersey. So I got something from New Jersey because everyone knows how impeccable New Jersey whiskey is, so. But again, it's got a train on the front of it. So there is all that and more could be yours if you're ever invited to a uh, New Year's Eve party and don't have fucking COVID, fuck COVID. Um, so this is my gift to myself, which got delayed and delayed and delayed and delayed. And this is just a standard Amazon. I wish they all came off that easy. It'd be fucking amazing. Actually, it'd be terrible because you'd lose so many packages. I forget what this is, as I forget most things, what most things are. Ah, what? Oh, so. <sighs> Hi, Pasta. I'm sorry you had to listen to me talk about liquor like I don't know anything. It probably makes her very upset. Pasta loves a good liqueur or a liquor. Mostly gin. It's just gin. She just fucking loves gin, all right? But, um, the other thing she loves is having a kitchen not have anime figurines in it, which I don't fucking understand. She fell in love with me, all right? I'm over here just being like myself, and she's like, you, I want you, and I'm like, well, you're going to take me and everything that comes with? And then she's like, nah. So now these girls might go somewhere. In preparation for their eventual move and my subservience to womanhood, um, I bought these. And I could tell, I'm gonna go open one, they're exactly the same. I could tell you right away, if you look up Glass Lazy Susan or Glass Carousel, which is what this is, they're expensive as fuck. Like they're at 25 and 30 inch round glass Lazy Susans. Are you shitting me? I have to cut the edge of this down. That are like $250. And I'm like, what, the, what, what? And these were 12 inch ones that were $30. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'll just buy the cheap one because I'm not an idiot. That's slightly off center. But since most of my anime girls that I'm into are noodle stoppers, which means they're designed to sit on the edge of things and look cute, I figure if I get one of these, I could sit them all around it and they could just gently spin via whatever magic I decide to do that with that later. If there's like fibers on this. Oh, there's like fiberglass fibers on this. But two of those, those look sex as fuck. That's a fucking sexy thing. If I clean this off, cause it is just covered in like fiberglass. For, for 30 bucks, That shit's smooth. Anyway, throw this foam away. Yeah, I would love to have gotten a bigger one because then I got to fit them all in like one big spinning thing. In fact, how brave am I? I put darkness. Are you gonna fall over, baby? I think she's, she's very top heavy, but I think she'll, um, yeah, boy, don't fall, please. Don't fall. I'm trying to, I'm trying to angle it. So her ass, if she falls, she falls that way and not down. But that's, this is my best idea for coming up with how to appease pasta and also appease me because I want to see all angles of my anime bitches. And that's the, the spinning glass things or spinning platforms in general is probably going to be a, a running theme. Oh. All right. Before I get to my, the thing that, the gift that I bought myself is that over there. The gift that my brother and my sister-in-law managed to make happen are actual hand-painted portraits of Chewbacca, which is like, I, I cry a little bit. 
I might still be crying right now because they've apparently my sister-in-law um, friend's sister is an artist and she doesn't have a profile online anymore for reasons but I would like to thank Sam once again for painting these because that is that's just Chewbacca or or an evil beast in the woods one of those two things here she's standing on an ocean but this is a picture from when she was out there on the grass just looking at me in fact, let's go find the pictures of Chewbacca, because now I have actual things that I have to hang up. By the way, these are fucking spectacular. Oh, canvas things. Where's my boopers? There's so many, there's boopers there. That would be another one, that'd be nice. We got boopers there. Yeah, so now I have to actually, there's so many holes in this wall anyway, I'm just have to get some, some nails, put them up there. The question is now, which you don't have to answer because I've probably done it already. Do I keep both of these paintings in the gallery? Do I request a red one so I have RGB? Or, or do I separate these out, put like the small one down the basement and put the big one up here? Because that's just my heart. My heart. Oh, look at her smelling the toilet bowl on the veranda. Oh, God. Anyway, thanks again, Sam, for painting these. They're adorable. And now... And now that I've opened liquor and glass tables for waifus and heartfelt fucking portraits, what would Zeos buy for himself for Christmas? What does the man who has everything buy for himself? And you're gonna fucking be like, God, you're a privileged fuck, but I am, or I wanna be, no, see, one of my life goals is to live like I live in a five-star luxury hotel. Like, I don't want to live in a home that's all lived in and shit. I want, it to, I want people to walk in here and be like, God, how much do you pay a night for this place? Like, five grand? That's sort of the decorum, and that's my goal. That's like bidets everywhere, beautiful lighting. I don't want it to look like some house and some people are just like fucking chilling in. The, I want it to just be like, holy shit. This is a Dubai penthouse, and I want to live here. And on that note, I bought a Dyson Airblade 5 hand dryer. And I will not tell you how much I paid, but all, all I'll tell you is that when I added this to my shopping cart three years ago, I didn't buy it. Because, holy fuck, am I going to pay that much money for a hand dryer? This is like a bathroom hand dryer. Like you go, this is a commercial bathroom hand dryer. Actually, this is 110, so it might be slightly less insane. But I think it's still a thousand watts. Uh, gross weight, uh, net weight of six and a half, three quarter pounds. Um, it's got Japanese written on it. Where are you made? Oh, please be made in Japan. There's Japanese characters made in Malaysia. Okay, Malaysia is basically just low end Japan. But so I bought this because I've wanted to buy it for three years. Ever since Can Jam. 2017 they had the first place i used the dyson v not the one you stick your fucking hands into those are stupid the ones you just do this and it's like and it just throws all the water off your hands well this was it this was it was in my shopping cart it was in my shopping cart it was in my shopping cart they're only one price now it used to be a it used to be a hundred dollars cheaper for the plastic one versus the stainless steel one now they're all the same price of insanely expensive but uh I also figured something out, and this is gonna blow your minds. If you've ever used a Dyson V hand dryer, which this is how you know you're an adult and not a kid anymore, because this is the most exciting fucking thing you've purchased. Not a video game, not a new monitor for gaming. Well, not a choo-choo train set. Oh, got liquor of this choo-choo train. When you get a fucking hand dryer and it's like, bitch, I've made it. Well, bitch, I've made it. Um, this doesn't have a heating element in it. I'll repeat that since that was very loud. This hand dryer that you put your hands under isn't heated. And I'm like, wait, is that something they changed? And apparently it's not. Anyone who's ever used a Dyson V hand dryer can be like, wait, Zeos, what are you saying? They're, they're heated, it's hot when I put my hands underneath it. It's not. I mean, it, it feels hot because unlike regular hand dryers that have a heating element, which can grow bacteria, because it's got moist air that just sits there and it cools off, but it gets like, that perfect not hot enough to kill bacteria levels, it's bad. The Dyson, instead of heating up the air, takes 1,000 watts and just puts it into the motor to blow your fucking hands off. 
and the, the air that hits your hands is so hard and fast that it actually heats up your skin from the friction of the air. So this is my example of don't buy cheap shit. Like I could have bought a world dryer for like $125, but I'm, I'm like, mm -mm, no, 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 no. Cause a five-star hotel in Dubai would not have a world dryer. Those bitches would have a Dyson V. Now I actually didn't look up the instruction manual or anything like this. Look at all the plastic I get to peel off. Here's your intake. Here, these little slits, can I stand this up? These little slits here are the exhaust where it blows out. Um, I have no idea how it mounts. I have no idea how, what the wiring is gonna be like. I can show you where it's gonna go though. Come with me and you'll see. That Sios is does it have his bathroom. Um, when I moved in here, here's my sink. I assumed that would be past the sink because it'd be more convenient. I installed this towel thing. In fact, I'm pretty sure there's an unboxing where I, I showed you that I bought this. And it's great because I wash my hands and I do this and I can dry my face with it. But now this will go here. And there is my 110 plug. I'm just gonna run a little whoop over to it. I can't, I gotta be careful because there is a sliding door back here so I can't mount through too hard and I can't run electrical through that because there's a sliding door but um yeah dysonairblade.com dot org dot slut is there a dot slut because I would buy zeos dot slut in a heartbeat anyway I'm not going to peel any of this shit off to expose that beautiful stainless steel because um actually wait is any of this, this plastic you fucks None of it's actually stainless steel. God, for the price I paid. I guess they don't make it in stainless anymore because it literally only had two options. It was silver plastic then or white plastic. And it was both $50 more than it used to be. Um, I'll give a quick look at the back. So apparently there are lock, oh, there, there's special screws here, which this comes with. So it comes with a security Allen key, which I'm not reading this. I'm just taking it out. Am I supposed to take it all the way out? Does that mean that that nut is free? Or that's a captive nut? It's a captive nut. I'm doing this all for you guys. Sorry, Pasta, that you have to watch me fuck around with this, but I, I, this is exciting. Somebody out there is like, oh, I always want to see inside a Dyson V hand dryer. Presumably that's the only two, and then that's hooks. Yep, there it is. So there's your wall plate. This is what you mount onto the wall. Here is your line neutral and ground terminal, which I'm going to have to get to come behind this there. What is that? Oh, that's a plug to get it in there if you want to like actually have it come in so i'll figure out how to get electrical into this at some point this gets mounted in the bathroom wall and then this is the unit my unit big flexy thing there's the three prong plugs that go in here uh i have no idea what these are they open though i guess the whole thing pops so i'm not gonna disassemble any more than that because i don't know what i'm doing it's very simple it's all motor it just says motor this is one of those crazy fuck you Dyson motors that just sucks air, sucks here, up through the filter packs, and then just dumps it straight down into the V. And I don't, you know, this doesn't, this shouldn't cost as much as it does, but I, I challenge anyone in this video to find me a better hand dryer than this. And the accelerator with the X, the big, Fuck that thing, the Dyson V destroys that, so don't even suggest that. Anyway, that was this is my gift to myself. I can't wait to dry my hands. Because I realize I don't wash my hands as much as I should, because it's like I wash my hands and then I dry them with a towel, but I just dried my hands with a towel 10 minutes ago. I dried it again, towel's damp. It's, eh. Better hygiene is always a thing. And um, if I like it enough, maybe I'll get another one for the public bathroom, although fuck those people in the outside bathroom. <laughs> um... I was going to put this in my old apartment. It would have been hilarious. Anyway, thank you for standing for this 28-minute unboxing. I don't even remember. And I will see you all tomorrow, the next day. I don't remember. We'll schedule. Fucking tits. But I'm, I don't mean like, like hers. You get it.